Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to merge two columns into one using Excel 2019. So let's open up this example spreadsheet and inside here it's just made up data so there's no real information in here it's just made up. We've got first name, last name and we've got telephone number here and the objective is to take the James and the Smith and combine them together and put them into this cell here and then replicate that going down. So to do that We'll click on this blank cell where we've got full name. We'll make it a bit wider here. So we'll click right here and we'll type in the equals sign, equals. So we hit equals and then we want to target cell A2. So we want to target this cell. So we can just click on it, A2. And then we'll do ampersand. So we need the ampersand sign. Then open, uh, open speech mark, which is shift two on my keyboard. And then close that speech mark. And then we want another ampersand and then we want to target B2, so we click on B2 and then we just hit the enter key. Now we have James Smith uh, copied from here and placed here. We can press Control B to unbold it. So we've got James Smith and now we've got it as one line of text here and then we can just drag all the way down and we get all of the surnames and the first names linked together like this. So if you're doing some sort of mail merge or you're sending out data or you just want the first name and the surname put into one column as full name, then you've got that done here. Nice and easy, nice and simple. So hopefully you find that tutorial useful if you're working on big data sets or you need to manage first name, last names. And remember, it doesn't have to be first name, last name. It could have been something like door number and street address, something like this, right? So it can be different types of information. Um, and you can use this same logic to apply it across multiple columns as well. So it doesn't just have to be two columns. You just use the same formula logic, but just append more um, cells after this here and you can add more to it in terms of generating this string here so i hope you find that useful and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial